Hi, hello, welcome to Lady Big Gaming. We are in October, so I figured I'd do some spooky games. Uh, and we're going to play Diary of a Madman. Uh, it's a playable short story by The Reckless. And I got it, it's on Game Jolt for free. So let's click Left Mountain to get started. I was shaken when a long-time friend has disappeared, and with him his wife. He has been loathing reality for all his life for what he is. He was much fond of superstition and fairy tale interpretations of a life that for him was often boring and rejected. Nevertheless, he married one day and found a woman who did not bother with his, at the same time, childlike and manipulative, manipulative character. She probably took changing him, the oldest mistake to the, in the world. Over the years, his ability to be the victim and therefore the right to attack others became stronger, but also more perfidious. He found a holy advisor, as he called her, who supported and reinforced his weaknesses. For quite some time, he began to disappear in the evenings and on weekends for hours. Since his wife was worried, she asked me to follow him. It was not hard to find out where he wanted to go. On the outskirts, there were some closed factories. There, he parked his car and walked to one of the oldest abandoned factory buildings. But then he became more careful and looked increasingly around. I do not. I did not follow him into the building, but at least I could explain to his wife what he did in the evenings. This went on for a while, until he spent his free time only in the outskirts of the city or with his advisor. His wife hardly saw him anymore. He had no contact with anyone else. This again went on for a few months, until both disappeared one day. I went to the police immediately. There I was told that they had their hands tied, that they are two adults and married people, and that they can travel at any time. Unfortunately, they were right. I could not contact his counselor because I had only her first name and I would not trust her anyway. But I knew my friend. I did, I did the only thing that occurred to me in this situation. I drove to the outskirts of town where I followed him at that time. Where I followed him at that time. A weak track, but the only one I have. At the entrance to the company was a folder labeled Diary, but it was empty. Apparently, he kept a diary and brought the individual sheets here for whatever reason. However, I'm not allowed to take any leaves with me if he has committed a crime. I have to leave everything untouched. But I have to follow the lead. I hope he did not kidnap his wife. Or he did worse. Whoa, okay. Woo, that noise at the beginning was kind of, uh, woo, loud. Uh. Oh, oh, hello. Oh. Diary entry. Finally, I have found someone who understands me, one who tells me what I want to know. She is free from doctrines. She is just fascinating. She told me that I am mentally very strong and that I should write down my feelings in order to realize them even more. And I do that. I have already arranged the next appointment. Okay. Oh, this is... I cannot open those. Hello. Oh, I'm like floaty. Can't go up there. So is this... Whoa, I'm so floaty. Like, he slides. He's on ice. So is this kind of like a... Slender Man a bit? I have to find these diary pages. Whoa. Well, it's a little graphical thing. It's fine. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so slippery slidey. Oh, oh. I have done everything she has told me, but it is not as easy as after our first session. Am I doing something wrong? I have to read again what I wrote down after our session. I'm counting the days until our next appointment. Time seems to pass slower again. The days just feel too long. Slip and slide. Woo! I have a feeling I'm going to be chased after I collect... A lot of little graphic things there, but it's fine. Wee! I'm like having more fun sliding! Diary entry. At our second appointment, she told me that she looked into the Chronicles and that I am also one of the new people who are superior to others. She explained everything to me conclusively and pointed out that my temporary ins insecurity and puberty is an indication of this. It's time for a real change. I can no longer stand idly by. My holy advisor is always talking about diversity and that there are people, she says, who stand in the way of this diversity. So I'll take care of those who deserve it. Receive a penalty. Okay. Whoa. I'm just so slippery slidey. Uh, 
Uh, today a few colleagues have made fun of spiritualism, but these are only subhumans anyway. The loudest was this repulsive fat. He always eats crap, and when he drinks something, always runs past his mouth and drips on his shirt. Also, he always keeps things lying around because he's too lazy or too stupid to clean up. He, and he also farts all the time. I gave him a load of laxative in his coffee the next day, so much so that an ambulance had to be called because his stomach was cramping. He whimpered like the worthless and fat piece of dirt he is. What the? Oh, okay. Oh, this is a big room. Uh, my holy advisor has revealed to me that my diary can give me transformative power to take the next big step. I am incredibly excited. She said I'm an extraordinary creature and not allowed to bother with raw and superficial people. There are only a few on Earth that are superior to the masses, but we are becoming more. Okay. Slip and slide. Is that where I was? That's where I came from. Okay. I think... Whoa! <laughs> I'm so slippery. Okay. I can't tell those if those are footsteps or just me. The music, I mean. Not me. Whee! I'm like so slippery. Uh, my wife is against my holy advisor. She said that I behave like a child that always wants to be the victim. Hence, I attack her. Besides, she said, I am obedient to my holy advisor. That is exactly what my holy advisor foretold me. She just knows everything. My holy advisor even found out that I was emotionally abused. I did not know that, but when she asked me if it could be, I thought about a lot of people I've always hated. And now I know why I hated them so much, because they were emotionally abusing me. It was their fault. Ooh. This is... I, I kind of like the ambiance of this game. Although the slidey bit is a little more fun than anything. Come on. I see it. I want it. Uh, I have to protect my holy advisor. She said that she was attacked by black magic and only I can approach the attacker. She wants to meet me to tell me who it is, but I guess I know who it is. <gasps> is it your wife? This is kind of like a haunted, ha haunted house kind of thing. Was it your wife? Here we go. Oh no, that has blood on it. I always thought killing someone would be bad for the life after death, but my holy advisor said that there are people who would be better off leaving the planet. That was liberating. Uh oh. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good for me. Slipping and sliding on his floors. I don't think there's any other way to go. I have to go back. Where am I? Oh. Wait, did I read this one? Come on. Ugh. My wife tried to teach me today. I do not even know what it was about. I just kept quiet. She once asked again, but then she kept quiet herself. I think I've made it. My wife barely talks to me anymore. She seems to have realized that her teaching does not work for me. My holy advisor said she realized she was just not highly enough developed for me. Okay. Do I just go back now? I don't think there was another way for me to go. Oh, oh, hello. Today my wife told me that I try to persuade her more and more often, and I start my sentences more and more often with my holy advisor said. I broke off the conversation and drove away with my car. I have 
a hard enough time at work. I do not want to be teached at home. I do not have to listen to any shortcomings of other people. People like me realize that the old religions are wrong. We are superior. This is not accepted by the less de developed, and therefore they hate us. What scares a stupid, stupid person makes them aggressive. Most of them are unworthy lives anyway. Hmm... Hmm. Don't like the way you're thinking, buddy. I already read that one. Okay, so I think I just... I, I've been everywhere, I think. I think I got all the... Okay. I, I I guess I'm just going back now. Whoops. Whoa, sorry, it's slip and slide is still getting me a little woo. I guess I didn't explore this a lot. So I guess I, I have to get all of the diary entries, right? And then I can go. Oh, hello. Oh. Creepy mannequin. Everything seems so unreal to me that hours just pass by. Even my hysterical boss does not really get through to me anymore. My colleagues are no longer bothering me with their inadequacy. And all after only one session. This woman can do wonders, and I think this is because she has direct access to old masters, as she says. Okay. You crazy. You gone you done gone crazy. You drank the Kool-Aid. I don't know, do I just leave maybe? Can I just leave? No. So there's something else I have to do. I mean, it's spooky and all, but I'm not seeing what I missed. I mean, the little blocks are pretty scary. I'm looking. So I'm sure if I find the one that I missed, something spooky will happen. Maybe it's because I did it out of order? Did I not do it correctly? That's where the body is. Well, not the body, the mannequin is. Look at that butt. Okay. I'm stumped. I done been stumped. I done did been stumped. I mean, was there another door? Maybe there was a door I missed. Oh, oh I found him! Oh! <laughs> I went back to the factory entrance and called the police. I told them about the diary page and that there may still be one dead body. The corpse of my friend's wife. He not only destroyed his life, but also that of his wife and that of their two families. A selfish and cowardly act of a madman manipulated by hair-raising lies. The only question that comes to mind is why did this insane counselor persuade my friend to commit murder and suicide? Uh, what is the benefit for her? With a diary, you could hold her accountable. The police could even conclude a con contract kill. I hope he rots for all time in hell. Oh! Okay. Okay, that was, that was okay, you know? Uh, I mean, there was a nice little ambiance there, but there wasn't any sense of real danger, so I wasn't... I mean, just uneasiness. There was a sense of uneasiness, but not real danger. Uh, but it was okay. It was okay. I mean, I think it gave me a nice little spook in those little dark hallways, not knowing what was around the corner. So, yeah. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna try to play a few more just random horror games for the spooky month of October. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.